Welcome back to Body Bags. This is week number 422. This is a theme week, and the theme is letter horror. That means the first letter of your channel name. Mine is Horrific Nightmares JM. By the way, I'll be your host. And this week I picked House 4 The Repossession. <laughs> House 4, The Repossession, is a 1992 film, which runs approximately 94 minutes, and is directed by Louis Abernathy. And he actually had nothing else to his credit. This stars Terry Treese as Kelly Cobb. She was in Black Widows, Lady Killer, and Rage and Honor. William Catt as Roger Cobb. He was in The Man from Earth, Carrie, and the original House. And Scott Burkholder as Burke. He was in Crimson Tide, Con Air, and Love for Rent. Now the interior sets of House 4 were reused in The People Under the Stairs, which I thought was pretty cool. And William Catt was only on the film for two days. And all four house films were scored by Harry Manfredini. I actually wasn't really expecting much from this. Um, I do like the first house movie. I like the second house movie. Um, I'm kind of a bigger fan of House 3, which is the horror show. Which has um, uh, Lance Hendrickson in it. But... Like I said, I wasn't really expecting much from this movie. Uh, this takes place years later. It's not in the same neighborhood, and to be honest, I don't really even believe it's the same house, although it does look kind of similar. Uh, William Cat comes back as Roger Cobb, who is trying to keep up the house, even though it's in pretty bad shape. He has a stepbrother named Burke, which I don't ever remember that being said in the first one, but that's fine. So he has a stepbrother named Burke who is begging him to sell the house. He says no, that he has to keep it in his family because there's a tradition that his father said that he couldn't sell it. And his grandfather before him, who got it from marrying an Indian shaman's daughter said that they had to keep this house in their family. They still have a house in the city, but they do keep this house, and they were thinking about renting it out, although he's fixing stuff around the house, so, I mean, who knows. So they leave to go back to the city. It's him, his wife, and his daughter. And they get in a car accident. Um, the wife and the daughter get out of the car and Roger is killed when the car explodes. Now the daughter is put in a wheelchair after that and of course distraught. The mom and the daughter give up their house in the city and go live in this house permanently because she thinks that's what Roger would have wanted. Meanwhile, the stepbrother is still trying to get her to sell him the house, and you find out it's for nefarious reasons. But at the same time, stuff starts happening in the house that is unexplainable. And I'm going to leave the plot there. There are some really good effects in this movie. As a matter of fact, I thought some of the effects were actually better than the effects in the very first house movie, in my opinion. There is a really cool pizza scene. It's actually a pizza man. And the pizza man, uh, my friend Joe told me, is actually Kane Hodder, which I thought was cool because he was the stunt man in the very first house who was um, Richard Mull's stunt character. So, pretty cool. I thought it was uh, interesting to bring him back for the fourth one, as well as William Cat. I actually like this kind of bit quite a bit. Um, it was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. 
And even though we don't get a lot of William Cat in the film, it had enough of a minute in order to keep it kind of as part of the franchise, if you understand my meaning. Definitely check this one out. This is a good film, if you have it. I think the only way it's available is on the um, box set, but I could be wrong about that. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.